They're all shook up in parks in the state's central west where Elvis Presley is always on their mind. The town is hosting the biggest festival in the southern hemisphere that's dedicated to the king of rock and roll. Chloe Hart went along for the party. <laughs> Every January, Parks becomes a mini Memphis for the annual Elvis Festival. This year, a record number of lycra-clad fans in prime Priscilla's turned out for the street parade. Parks Elvis 2015! The event features five days of non-stop music, dancing and entertainment, with the mandatory rhinestone-studded jumpsuits and blue suede shoes. Justin Chandor made the trek from Las Vegas, where he's made a career of impersonating the rock legend. I've never seen anything like this. This is, a, this is huge. It's a, Elvis is bigger all over the world I mean, than, than he is at home. It's, it's amazing. It's a chance for fans from all over the world to reunite. We know everybody just about all the and everyone loves Elvis. And we sing Elvis songs too. We can't sing anymore. For the thousands of Elvis fans that have turned out, this year's particularly significant, marking the King of Rock and Roll's 80th birthday. On the 8th of January, he was 80, so uh, happy birthday, mate. I'll see you soon. With all of the hotels booked out and local businesses flat strap, the festival injects around $10 million into the local economy every year. A lot of carnival atmosphere where you know people get together and have a bit of fun down the street. And I think you've also been part of the biggest crowd to ever come to the Elvis Festival of Parks. There's got to be over 20,000 people here today. Give yourselves a round of applause. And this week, organisers were told by Elvis Presley Enterprises in Tennessee that the festival is now the official event for Australasia. Chloe Hart, ABC News, Parks.